So I figured it's been a while since we did a little bonus video. So I am sitting outside with Levi, my green iguana. And you met him back in the worst five beginner pet reptiles video because green iguanas do not make good beginner pets for really, they actually don't really make good pets for most people. Now he is, I believe 10 or 11 years old and he is super stunted. He only weighs about five pounds and an adult green iguana can be two to three times that. So his previous owner for the first six or seven years that they had him just fed him iceberg lettuce, which is not even really good for us. So he had no veggies, no fruits or anything like that. And really they need healthy greens like collard greens, dandelion greens, escarole, endive. We're gonna take him for a little walk today because it has been really crappy out for most of this quarantine and uh, have not really been able to take any of the animals outside. Been able to put the tortoises out really briefly, but we're gonna take this guy. We're gonna let him wander around a little bit. He is on his little leash that I got a few years ago. He's actually, he's almost just about to outgrow it, but it still does the job. So we're gonna take him for a little walk around outside. Let him wander in the grass, maybe eat some dandelions or things like that. So yeah, so hopefully you guys kind of enjoyed that walk around. He's kind of done walking around. He uh, he wants to ride on me. Roxy, my Cuban rock iguana, she's more the one that likes to go up on, uh, she likes to go rock, walk around on the ground. I actually didn't get to record it, but if you look right there, you can see he's got a little bit of dandelion sticking out of his mouth. Hopefully you can, I think the camera will pick it up, but I thought I was recording. It was really cute. He was running, he was walking and then he just stopped to eat two dandelions and I thought I was recording, but I wasn't, so I missed it, but this is, uh, this is Levi, and the goal of originally this spring was I was going to be I was going to build outdoor lizard enclosures right here, right where you're looking. But with COVID and lack of shows and not much income coming in, that's probably going to be postponed either to the fall or next year maybe. So stay tuned. Outdoor lizard enclosures. I'm going to build one for the two iguanas. I'm going to build one for the tegu. Maybe one for the ornate monitor lizard. I don't know if I want to deal with him outside. We'll see, but. Hopefully there's a waterfall right next to my house. Hopefully that's not too loud and you guys aren't picking up on that too much, but yeah, so I figure everyone else is walking their dogs during this quarantine, so I might as well. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the uh, little stroll with Levi the Iguana. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. I'm gonna be doing, next week I have a very exciting new top five. It's not like a top five, like best reptiles or whatever. It's gonna be a completely different new cut type of uh, top five. So I'm really looking forward to that. Hopefully you guys like it. So that'll be coming out this week. Yeah, make sure you subscribe, like the video if you enjoyed it. Thanks for tuning in and we will catch you later.